Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Cancer. We have a different setup today. Um, this is probably how it's going to be from here on out until I maybe figure out something better than this. Um, but I hope you guys like this setup. Um, hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. As usual, this will be a general collective reading and it will not resonate with every cancer and it will not resonate with every cancer crosswalker. Please take it resonates and leave the rest. But if you have some rising or Venus placements in cancer or you are dealing with someone that does have those birth chart placements, this reading could resonate with you. Oh, please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. You can find the links to both in the description box. All right. What is going on with my Cancer Collective? Okay, so we have the Seven of Cups here. Let's see. Seven of Cups. We have the Magician in Reverse, Aries Energy. We have the World in Reverse. Libra Energy. We have the Three of Pentacles in Reverse. All right. Third card, the Seven of Cups. Okay. We have the Hermit, Virgo Energy. Mmm. The Cherry in reverse. Let's move these up a little bit. Cancer Energy with the Cherry in reverse. The Nine of Cups. Let's see. Justice. Libra energy. All right. So the tower in reverse. So Scorpio energy with the tower in reverse. Or no, the tower upright. Sorry, guys. So someone's trying to think long and hard about a decision here somebody feels like they have multiple different options or they're a little bit confused right now somebody's really trying to think before they make a decision here um there's something that's not manifesting and there's something that's not moving forward somebody may feel like they don't have the ability to manifest something or make something manifest okay um but it's like Somebody doesn't want to let go of something because it's what they really want. All right. It's like they do desire this. They view this as wish, view whatever this is as wish fulfillment. They don't want to let it go. They don't want to close out a cycle because it is what they've been hoping and wishing for. But it's like this person also feels like somebody feels like they also don't have the ability to move things forward with you. It's like they don't want to lose you. They don't want to close out a cycle with you. They view you as wish fulfillment. You do make them happy, but they also don't feel like they have maybe what it takes to move something forward with you or they like they don't have the ability. They don't have the skills. Um yeah, three of pentacles in reverse. Like I see a lack of cooperation, disharmony, misalignment. Yeah. It's like um but yeah, lack of compromise. Um Somebody may want to make it right. Somebody may be, it's like, it's almost like somebody's getting the, it's like the consequences of someone's actions here. It's like, somebody's like kind of realizing here that they can't have their cake and eat it too type energy. Um, There's been a tower moment. Could have been triggered by some type of communication. So it's like somebody was wanting to like not progress things with you, but they were not wanting to also let you go. They were also not wanting to close out a cycle with you. I feel like you guys may have told this person that you made a decision about them. I feel like this hermit energy and the seven of cups was you. I feel like this was you trying to figure out what to do. Stick it out with this person. Open yourself up to new options. Um, yeah, trying to make a decision. I feel like about this person and I feel like you guys did make the decision 
you gain you gain the clarity that you you needed, okay, to make a decision when it came to this and I feel like you guys just felt like this was going nowhere and I feel like you felt like you needed to pull back your energy or that this person was going to continue to hold back. So yeah, you, you realize that this person had an inability to commit to you, okay? Um, and I feel like you guys maybe told this person all, all of this and it was definitely a tower moment for this person. Um, I feel like it, what I just heard it caught them off guard. They weren't expecting you to do this. All right, and I feel like um, now they're getting the consequences of their actions. They, they wanted to try to keep you in limbo. They wanted to, they wanted to, again, wanted to have their cake and eat it too. And that wasn't fair to you. It's like this person definitely sees, knows your worth. They're not able to give it to you. That's why they're not wanting to let you go because they do see your worth. Okay. So let's see. Tell me more about this situation. Tell me more about this situation. All right. Yeah, I feel like you guys like, Let's see if I can set these up nicer. Like you took a risk on a person. I feel like you guys maybe kind of knew this person wasn't at your level. Maybe they were like outside of like your normal type. Like there was something risky about this, but I feel like you guys are starting to awaken. You guys are starting to know your worth more. And I feel like you were trying, you were hoping and praying that things would change. Yeah, you were hoping and praying that things would change with this person, that they would get it together. But I feel like you guys started, you had to look at the situation. You awakened to something. You had to start looking at the situation for the reality of it. And I feel like you guys decided to cut this person off. Um, or this is what's going to end up happening here. Yeah. Somebody is feeling like. Yeah, this person, like you feel like a soul connection to them, but they're not good for you. They're toxic. This person could also like ghost you and then pop back into your life or something like that. They like they're in and out type energy. Like, and it's like, they're really good at like talking their way back into your life. Um, but yeah, it's like. Somebody feels like time is, why is time running out? Why is TikTok here? Why is time running out? Somebody feels like their time is running out because of something that they're seeing on social media. They're watching you. Yeah, they're watching you. They're, they're in denial that you're maybe moving on from them. Yeah, that you're going down a different path. You're taking a risk and going down a different path, cutting this person off. But I do feel like you guys were really trying to stay hopeful when it came to this person, okay? So, who are my cancers dealing with? Who are they dealing with? What type of person are they dealing with? What's this person's issue? What's this person's problem? <laughs> okay, let's see here. The spiritualist, okay. Oh, if it's not that they're spiritual, some of you guys could have very different beliefs than this person. Different, different religious beliefs. Yeah, you guys could come from different like backgrounds, different cultures. It's like they do want something meaningful, but this per like they do want something deep and meaningful, but they need to understand that. You're not going to cult cultivate a deep and meaningful relationship being in and out, ghosting and then, you know, popping back in. And um, yeah, it's like when you haven't even decided really what you want either. This person hasn't, like, they're trying to keep the situation in limbo and like, yeah, it's ridiculous. All right, let's see here. Yeah, I just saw the perfectionist. This person, it's like they want to be at a certain place in life before they fully commit to you. And I feel like that's why they're stalling this. They don't feel good enough for you. They feel like they need to be, their life and like 
who they like who they are as a person their status needs to be at a certain place before they fully commit to you and they're not there yet so they don't feel comfortable fully committing or you know moving this forward with you but they also don't want to lose you because they you are everything that they ever wanted okay um yeah the intellectual yeah this person is very stubborn too like they they have very they're very set in their ways and they have a hard time like you know being open-minded especially if you guys have different religious beliefs they have a hard time you know accepting yours um yeah this person is like very you could be dealing with an air sign a gemini libra or aquarius this person is very logical they're not very emotional um and they're overthinking things and over analyzing things right now so that's causing delays unnecessary delays and i feel like this person also was not expecting to find you yeah they weren't expecting to find you that they were like maybe desiring like to find someone that they had that connection with but they were not expecting to encounter you when when they did and they just feel like they weren't ready when they encountered you okay so yeah it's like they love attention they love your attention but i feel like this person has a hard time reciprocating all right and that's a problem yeah the procrastinator exactly Partner waits a long time for commitment, delays love for as long as they can. They often promise but don't deliver. So this person's probably been paying, playing games with you, promising you a lot but not following through with those promises, okay? So let's see. We have an option. Yeah, exactly what I keep saying. They're trying to string you along. Not ready for commit, not ready to commit, but they don't want to lose you either. They want to keep their options open. One more. Fear of loss, but they, exactly. This is just reiter reiterating what I've already said. Fear of loss. They fear losing you. The fear of losing you is much greater than the fear of the unknown. But yes, yeah, so I want you to keep an open mind because I don't feel like this person's going to be making a decision anytime soon. Like they don't want to lose you. They may take some type of leap of faith here, like to do something because they don't want to lose you. Maybe like when they really feel like you're moving on, they, when they feel that like their time is running out, they're going to take some type of leap of faith, take a risk. But Siri wants you to keep an open mind because there's other options. Or they, it says keep an open mind while looking for love to sample the array of possibilities that life presents to you. So there could be other options coming in for you. All right. I still see this person continuing to have commitment issues, being in denial about some things. Um, I feel like even if you guys do start opening yourselves up to other options, this person is going to have a hard time coming to terms with that. All right. I, but I do see new love coming in for you. Okay. Guidance. Freedom. Yeah, they're wanting you to free yourself from this. Without freedom, there is no creation. Let your spirit take flight. And we have blooming. You're not built to shrink down to less, but to blossom into more. Bloom and spark with no holding back. Yeah, this person, being with this person is you settling. Are you not reaching your full potential? Not reaching, you know, not getting what you're, what you're worth. So they're not wanting you to like, this person is wanting you to like shrink yourself down and meet them at their level. You want somebody that's going to meet you at your level, you know? Especially, I feel like you're the more evolved one in this situation. Thoughts. Keep your thoughts positive. Move past your limiting beliefs and shift your energy to raise your vibrations. We have expansion. You're dissolving limitations and making great progress, reaching new heights of what's possible. We have true love. So it's safe for you to love. Open up your heart again and create an emotional flow. So what does that have to do with this person that they're currently dealing with? What's going to happen? We have passion. So this may be a little bit hard. Like this may be a little bit hard to come to terms with, but there could be immense passion between you and this person. But when it comes to true love, I feel like you have yet to find your true love. I'm just basing it off what I see here. Like, I feel like there's a lot of passion between you and this person. But, and sometimes passion can feel like love. But I feel like Spirit is saying that they want you to open your heart or just keep an open mind and heart because there is there is something better out there for you. The, the opportunity for you to find true love, okay? So this is what I have for you. I hope that this reading resonated with you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you could take something from this reading, and don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. You can find the links to both in the description box. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.